Has Her Majesty the Queen finally taken on her wayward grandson, Prince Harry? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London today. Thanks for joining me as ever. Nice to see you. Yes, you, you, you. All oh, lovely as ever to see everybody. I hope we're all happy, keeping well, and looking out for each other, looking after each other. That's what it's all about, as I often say here on the show. An interesting story, though, breaking out of London. This is already centred upon uh, Prince Harry as ever, because, you know, the media do pick up on things and become obsessed with it. So I wanted to tell you the true story that we found out behind the scenes. Now, a lot of people will say to me, Neil, where do you meet these people? How do you know these particular stories? I've been working within the royal family for many years. You know, I sort of don't really attain to this uh, line where, you know, I talk to servants and stuff like that. First of all, I hate the word servant. You know, they work for the palace. They are people, they're individuals in their own right, you know. And of course, there are lots of ex-members of staff who do sell books write things and offer you know tip bits and pieces of advice particularly of historical content where they know what truly goes on with inside palace walls but of course you know i do have very good connections with inside the palace i've filmed in there many times and out at kensington palace as you recently saw if you saw that video and other sort of connections too i've even performed in front of royalty but more about that later but what I wanted to share with you today is this particular story because it all centers on a book uh, from a couple of years ago now, well, just before the pandemic, by the wonderful Angela Kelly. She is the Queen's dresser and I think she's done a brilliant job. What I like about Angela is she's created iconic looks for our gracious majesty the queen that have been really seen around the world and she's also a bit of a cheeky scouser big fan of the soap opera coronation street and so approachable and friendly i can see exactly how a friendship has been built between angela and the queen they have a great rapport together hence the reason she was allowed to write that book the other side of the coin all about dressing her majesty the queen fascinating read if you haven't seen it do check it out it's not too expensive now on Amazon either it was a bit pricey when it first came out definitely well worth the money though but now there's going to be an update a brand new version of the book and that's going to be released in May and a lot of media are speculating the fact that Her Majesty the Queen is simply bringing out the book to go into battle with Prince Harry who's also got his own memoir looming as we know spoken about it many times this is completely ridiculous. Let me tell you the background of the idea to the book. Because the book was such a success first time around, then they decided they wouldn't mind recapping the last couple of years. And what an eventful couple of years it's been. The sad loss of Prince Philip, of course, the pandemic. And so what we get to see through the Queen's words via Angela's book are exactly how Her Majesty the Queen has coped her thoughts on certain events. I think this is a brilliant way of her letting us know exactly her thoughts on things because as we know, Her Majesty the Queen never does interviews, never sits down with anybody. So I sort of think in the later years, she's finding new ways to communicate with her audience and why not? Is it a battle between her and Prince Harry? Well, simply not, but what it is going to do I truly believe is become an international bestseller because she does go into great detail on certain aspects, things that we've never really heard her speak about before. And of course, you know, what was life like in Windsor Castle when she was locked down, as we all were around the world? How different was it? As we know, like all of us, she had a collective bubble around her, but what did she manage to do? You know, we know she took the weekly phone call from the Prime Minister at the time because she couldn't meet him in person, but I think it's going to be a fascinating read. As for Prince Harry's book, we're not exactly sure what date that will come out on. And then, of course, a lot of people are speculating, will the paperback version come out at the same time as Prince Harry's book to counteract that? These are totally separate books, and let me tell you, our gracious majesty the Queen really doesn't believe in that sort of brick-back fighting, you know, I'll bring my book out then. This had been planned for over a year because she wanted to update and she wanted to make sure that people understood her thoughts and more importantly, you know, exactly what we were all going through. As I say, it's out in May and just to reaffirm, whatever you may have read in the press, it's simply not a battle. This is simply a book that if you're a royalist or you're simply interested in historical events through the eyes of the longest reigning monarch, then this definitely is the book for you. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.